，抓到切中间，对抗之后来一个中距离，四秒钟的时间，这边是一个高难度的出手，才讲到今年的新人，感觉真。林书豪带球后的出带起来，林书豪弯弯机会，准备吃了。了解比赛、嗯，他知道现在时间是工程师最大的敌人了。哇，这个后撤，然后这个球又给你投进，林书豪得分超过三十大关，暴龙队的一个即视感啊，<笑>把整个空间拉开。欸Yeah, you just saw former NBA player Jeremy Lin go out for 32 points overseas while also claiming that nobody can guard him. Literally lit sanity vibes right there, but there's an issue with this. The NBA seems to not care one bit. As of right now, the buyout market is currently taking place in the league with many players looking for new homes. However, Lin has not gotten a single call or opportunity to come back. Remember, there's still many teams in need of backup point guards, but nobody just believes in Lin anymore. With that in mind, it's safe to say that the NBA is about to regret this. Of course, we all know that Lin has had a roller coaster basketball career. Coming out of Harvard, the 6'3 guard received doubts from many people, leading to no draft selection in the 2010 NBA draft. However, after given a chance by the Knicks, Lin's sanity happened. Over the course of a week, he will average nearly 30 points per game, becoming the internet's biggest sensation. That would later lead him to getting a big paycheck by the Rockets, where he developed as a true point guard. However, a list of injuries will derail Lin's future in the NBA. He will bounce around teams like the Nets, Hawks, and Raptors before being out of the league in 2019. This of course took a toll on Lin, leading to his rant of the NBA blackballing him. However, it's now 2023 and Lin is playing some of the best basketball ever. After a few years of going back and forth in the CBA, Lin signed with the Steelers of the Taiwan League this past January. Here, Lin has thrived as the primary focus of the offense. I mean, to start things off, his game seems way more composed and calm. He's not the same turnover machine that he used to be sometimes in the past. In fact, Lin is destroying defenses with his pick and roll game. You see, Lin has always Always been a threat at the mid-range spot, and this set of action allows him to just do that. However, unlike any other years, he's actually been more of a pass-first type point guard. So far, Lin has done a great job of driving kick in to open shooters. This of course allows him to rack up his assists and let his teammates receive that confidence boost on the court. Not only that, but Lin is also a master of mismatches. If you see someone with a smaller guard on him, Lin will quickly fit his teammate and make sure that he gets a bucket. However, that right there isn't it. If teams overcommit on a screen, Lin has done a great job of splitting through the double team and creating for himself. With this aggression in mind, Lin has gotten his fair share of free throws. His patience and overall tempo have allowed him to shoot about 80% from the free throw line. I mean, just look at this play for example. Coming off the pick and roll, an agile big was switched into Lin, making things harder for him to create. However, through patience, Lin stayed composed and dribbled back to his mid-range spot where he got a foul call. Just amazing basketball IQ. Now there's something else that Lin has done extremely well and that is his transition offense. We all know that he's a speedy quick guard which allows him to push the ball. Usually Lin might just go straight up to the basket since you know it's Jeremy freaking Lin. However, it's clear that he still takes pride on being a pass first type point guard. I mean, in this play right here, Lin could have easily laid the ball, but he notices a better shot selection in the corner and passed it to his teammate. That's honestly scary to watch, and the fact that any NBA team could use this is crazy. I mean, you cannot tell me that Ben Simmons, who averages more fouls than points, has a spot over Lin in the NBA. <laughs> Anyways, we've seen how Lin is a threat offensively. He loves his pick and roll action, pushing the ball in transition, and you know, taking over when he needs to. I mean, that's exactly why he had a season high 32 points in his most recent Taiwan game. However, Lin is not just an offensive threat. In fact, his defense has been on another level. During his stint in Taiwan, you can see how fundamental Lin has become. On defense, he's always moving his feet nicely, having active hands, and keeping his hands up on a drive. Also, if there's a mismatch with a big, he makes sure to stay in front of him and make him work for the ball. Now, it's pretty evident how good Lin has performed in Taiwan. His desire of playing through contact and then countering his defender has allowed him to be a solid player until this day. Not only that, but his unselfish playmaking and willingness to play defense is something that people should not just take for granted. With that in mind, the NBA better take some notice of this soon. Time is running out and there has to be a team that notices how much Lin could help them as a point guard. Mind you, he doesn't have to start at this stage of his career. In fact, Lin might just be better as a backup, which should probably made things even easier for a deal. For now, Lin is thriving in Taiwan and proving every doubter wrong. And that pretty much concludes this video. What do you guys think of Jeremy Lin? 
which NBA team do you think should sign him? Let me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And turn on those notifications so you know when I upload a new banger. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.